Hello! Welcome back to Module 8 of Setting Up Your Journal with OJS 3.0. This is Unit 6 of Website Settings, Announcements. Announcements are temporary content that will appear on your journal's homepage. They are great for content such as opening and closings of submission requests for special issues, event announcements, and other exciting changes happening in your journal. To post an announcement, we begin on our website's main page and access the dashboard through the top right corner of the page. Hover over Settings in the left-hand navigation and select Website. Announcements is the last tab on the Website Settings page. The first thing you're prompted to do is to enable announcements. To enable journal managers to post announcements, tick the box. If you'd like announcements to display on your website's homepage, Tick the box and set the number of announcements that will display simultaneously on that page. Enabling Announcements creates a new page that will contain the archived announcements, and only the most recent announcements, to the number limit set here, will appear on your homepage. If you have any information about announcements that you would like to have displayed on your announcement page, such as perhaps a statement on who to contact with questions about announcements, you can enter it into this text box. Let's enter some test content so that we can see how it will display when we view it from the website. If you'd like to add indexing control to your announcements, you can use the Announcement Type feature to create type classes. This feature helps group announcements for easy search and review in the future. Let's make some sample types to see this feature in action. Click on Add an Announcement Type. Enter a name for your type and click Save. After you've saved, you can use the expansion arrow beside the type name to either edit or remove it. The final section is where you'll write your announcements. Click on Add Announcement to bring up the Creation Wizard. Select your announcement type from the drop-down menu, and then follow the form prompts. The short description is the content that will appear with the title on your main page and on your archived announcements page. Description is the full text of the announcement, which is only seen after a reader clicks through on the announcement. The short description will not appear in the description text after a reader clicks through. The idea is that the short description is a summary of the full description, providing a brief overview, while the full description provides the same information in greater detail. If you want your announcement posted for a limited time, click on the expiry date field and select an end date for the announcement. When that end date is reached, the announcement automatically disappears. To keep an announcement indefinitely, leave this field blank. Click Save when you've completed the form. As you add announcements, the announcement box populates in reverse chronological order and indicates the announcement title, type, and date posted. Clicking on a title allows you to view the announcement. Clicking on the expansion arrow beside the title allows you to edit or remove announcements. Click Save again at the bottom of this page. Let's take a look at how the announcement displays on our website by clicking View Site at the top corner of our browser. Firstly, notice that Announcements has been added to the top navigation bar of our website. As for how announcements display on the home page, it depends on which layout you're using. In this instance, we can see that the announcements display underneath our permanent content, but above the most recent current issue of our journal. As for what part of the announcement displays, you'll see here it is the brief description. If we click through, you can see it is the full description. 
Let's take a look at the announcement page. The active announcements are displayed from most recent to least recent and are listed with their titles and brief descriptions. If we click through to the full description, we can see that the brief description is not included on the page we're redirected to, which is why it's important to make sure that all vital information is repeated in both descriptions. And with that, we conclude module 8. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next module.